everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. Here in the divisional round, the pressure gets dialed up several more notches. Some players rise to the occasion. Some can't handle the heat. We'll see who shines in the spotlight and gets his team to the conference title game. It's the Steelers going up against the Titans. Thank you, Larry. We welcome everyone to the Music City, just a stone's throw from the Country Music Hall of Fame. We are at Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Tennessee Titans. up past the 30 to the 31. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They go with Murray again. Get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. All right, it's football 101 to know that the quarterback controls just about everything on offense, but a lot of times what gets missed is that the center controls line play. He has to communicate to the guards and the tackles what type of front they're facing, how they're going to block it, and what adjustments need to be made sometimes on the fly as a defense will shift. Give the center a lot of credit because for the most part, he's got big defensive linemen over his face all game long. That he's got to try and block and protect his quarterback and create space for his runner. In this case, he did a really nice job of communicating and executing. Holding offense. Now they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're just going to pick up a holding call. Set wide, 80. Operating from the gun, Wade. And he's got Decker, left side. 20, 10, touchdown, Titans. Eric Decker, 68 yards. And the Titans have taken a first quarter lead. And all the pressure that goes on in these playoffs, but the first score here in the divisional round always very key. Pardner, this team handled it like it was a regular season game, that they were confident in what they were doing, came right out, and established themselves early. Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say, when you're running the big-time races. Means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. Give everyone credit for this one, because to me, when that happens, key guys are out, the next man steps up and plays well, but that starts with the organization itself, all the way through. No excuses for guys being out, finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them, and we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. Oh. 
First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Now a give. This is Murray. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Second down following the run. And he'll give it here to his running back. And some space here. A oh, fancy running by Murray. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Play action. Wade dancing to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. James Harrison coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. You know darn well both of these teams reviewed the film and saw that this defense had five sacks last week. They got to keep their QB upright. And they're going to try their best to do exactly that. But they're facing a team where getting to the quarterback is a mindset. It's a mantra for them. And they play a game within the game. You know what it is? Let's race to the quarterback and see who gets there first. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Finding room to the 20. Touchdown, Titans. Their mobile, agile quarterback with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. And maybe the defense got so caught up in him throwing the football, they forgot he can take off, too. And you often hear about the quarterback being the unaccounted for guy as a runner. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Open now to get back in the end zone on his fourth possession. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. Whether well, it's what we call an even front or an odd front. And an odd front's real easy to figure out. If that guy is lined up over the nose of the center, typically that's an odd front defense. Odd number of people, meaning 3-4 versus the 4-3, which is an even front. You've got to control those guys in the middle. Whether it's the nose or the two defensive tackles in a four-man front, if those guys can't get moved, you cannot run the ball in the middle of the field. And in that play, they were able to actually take care of business. Finishes off the big play in the end zone. Out come the Titans now. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it could be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Pick up there and also a first down. 
Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back with more AFC playoff action after this timeout. reminder as we did all through the regular season we'll check in with Larry Ridley at halftime he'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play so here we go first and ten now receivers in the NFL, they're the complete package nowadays. We know they can run, we know they can catch, but they have those big frames now. So oftentimes they just out physical guys downfield and go up and catch the football. And we saw a big gain as a result on that play. And into the red zone now, and Charles, they told us Offense in the red zone was a focus this week in practice. A huge priority, and the key was to get points. So you know that all the time during the week they talked about executing, taking care of the football, no big mistakes, make sure they put points on the board and come out of it with that. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. running back and the agility got him a few extra before he's taken down right at the 10 call it an eight yard pickup and it'll be third down on a second and long it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation i think that goes back to their practice and game planning they've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance situation they can still run the and he's gonna score it's a titans touchdown their mobile quarterback on his way to a historic performance four first half touchdowns and the titans find a way to stretch their lead Heard a coach talk about this late in the half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that can finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. The Titans offense gears up for their first possession of the second half. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run, pass, mix, and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action, and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. And an alley to run! get this one across the 35. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. I know anytime you watch a team run the ball really well, there's some pinball effect. People bouncing off of each other. There's also some things of beauty in there when you see these nice, explosive, strong runs. And this guy, he knows how to carry the football really well. This time for Smith and it's intercepted. Picked off William Gay. Pass the 20. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. So a pick six there out of the nickel package. They went with five DBs. Almost becoming the base package in the NFL is the nickel. 
And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. And fresh off the pick six, they've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, he's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount. Here's his opportunity. It all comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I, I don't know where that comes from. It yeah. just kind of emerges out of me for some it's reason. It's deep in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> to throw on second down, Wade. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The Steelers insert their nickel defense on third down. Yeah, they add a DB. <laughs> Operating from the gun. Wade. And an alley to run. And avoids the contact by sliding. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. Fresh set of downs here. From the gun, Wade. And an alley to run. Room to run past midfield. And he'll be out of bounds, able to take it down to the 40. 23 yards on the play. After that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Off play action. Wade. Complete to the tight end, Jay Samaro. And he is knocked down from the side. Now a timeout being called as there's an injured Titan down on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. DeMarco Murray taking it in from four yards out. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. That was well executed. And the Titans getting set to go. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely love what they were doing because to be ahead of the defense that much where every play call you have, run or pass, is working pretty well for you. Makes you look like a genius. It really does. It also lets you know that your preparation was pretty good, and now the defense has to do all the adjusting. Blue 15. Looking to throw on second down. Wade. Buying time to his left. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down.
looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. From the pistol, they run it with Murray. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Yeah, let me puff out my chest a little bit, even though I'm not rooting for either team. That was a really nice defensive play. It's awfully fun to watch, even in an offensive game. Play fake, Wayne, and he's got Rome. <laughs> a big hit, knocked down sideways. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that'll bring up a third down. One quarter remains for the right to advance to the AFC title game. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville, it's the Titans. They've got the football. They'll be looking to extend their lead here as we begin the fourth quarter. Let's see what they go to here on third down at six. Operating from the gun, Wade. Complete. Smith has it. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And from the nine-yard line now, it's first and goal. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. DeMarco Murray, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. He's having a nice party. has an eye on that third touchdown. How about what our producer Christian McLeod likes to say when they've scored touchdowns like this? He's put a tent up in Touchdown City. The Titans offense now, they get set to head back out here. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big time one right now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense this playing so well. Well, they are clicking right now. A toss to Murray. And he'll get only a couple down to the 44. Nice job there defensively on third down. Not only did they string the play out, but they didn't allow any room for a cutback. Really well organized on the defensive side. The Titans on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This time it's third and three. Wait play action. Wade able to power. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Tyson Alualu with a big time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. You never want to give up a sack from the O-line's perspective. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. Second down, they'll try and run the counter. And now running right through it. So a good spin move there before he's taken down. A nice little game. Defense. 
Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. The Titans on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. Here it's third and three. They'll run here. It's Murray. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And that little deke, the juke move that we saw, able to give him the first down yardage before he's brought down. Inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just you give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. The Titans go victory formation as they take an aim. title game they had the extra week of rest that was a factor I think this home crowd was certainly a factor as well so this is step one done now they need to win next week if they want to get to the Super Bowl I like those two factors that you brought up the extra week getting the open week by being the number two seed a terrific home crowd for them coupled with really good play that allows them now to keep their Super Bowl dream alive one more on their way to the Super Bowl Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. 